desk. Thank you very much, Pyrotechnics. And we're here with Pepinero and Rydal after that huge upset win over Elements. Congratulations, guys. First off, um, am I right in assuming that you guys are still kind of shocked that you ended up winning that game, Rydal? Uh, we didn't expect this victory at this moment. They they start to snowball, and uh, I I don't know. We we do some cuts and in the mid game we do a call into the bot lane and we we realize that we kill three people in we kill three people in that bot lane and we can finish with so. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll make you relive that moment because let's actually get the replay up on the screen of when you guys somehow, after miraculously stealing Baron, you guys are able to push through here and Rydal talk us through the calling and realizing that you're making those picks. Let's uh, roll the clip. Yeah, at this at this moment, the Pinero called to go bot lane. We call, um, we got uh, Reckless here. Go, um, and I don't, I don't understand this TP, but Actually, he TP and he, he died. At, at this moment, uh, the Froggen cannot kill anybody. We realized that there are only two and they have like 50 seconds to that respawn. So we realized that we, are, we were so excited. We realized that we can, we can finish this game and we did it. <laughs> you guys did fantastic, saying that you didn't expect it yourself. Tabs, what's your take on what Elements did there in the bottom lane? Should they have just try to defend, but they couldn't versus those picks. Yeah, I really think they just thought they were so far ahead. They were kind of sloppy on their play. They didn't really pay too much attention. So when they did get picked off, I think they were like, oh dear, like we're actually going to lose now, like because we just lost three people. They didn't see it coming at all. Like even when the Baron got smited, they were still so far ahead and it was still such a long shot to victory for the Giants. So they weren't really like that focused there, I think. And that's just what caused them this loss. Pepinero for you as well. We know how good your Zerath is, but it wasn't quite working out. Froggen was really getting the better of you in that game. So talk us through how you lived the game. Lo he entendido, lo he entendido. Vale. Pero, eh, lo que quiero, lo que quiero decirles es que yo creo que ya no es por Froggen, es por el ruseo del avisal que se hace en todos los medios y que hace que pueda ganar uno versus uno a cualquiera, sabes, por mucho daño que tenga el personaje. Así que fue muy difícil por ser Froggen y por llevar el avisal. Yeah, he he told me that. Um, now a lot of mid laners are losing Abyssal Step their first item. It's very very hard to lane versus that, and and he he thinks his Froggen is very good, but uh, at the moment you put together Froggen and Abyssal Step there is totally terrible. <laughs> totally <laughs> terrible to fight against. Pepinero, what have been your thoughts or your experiences in general? Because you were a very hyped player coming into this, but it's so hard to go up against all of these mid laners. Ahora sí que quiero traducción. Vale. Um, poder, uh, can you repeat? Uh, yes. Um, so Pepinero was very hyped coming into this mm. season as a, a very hyped up mid laner, but it has been hard for him to adjust. So what has it been like? Que um, ahora estás, es, eres nuevo, ¿no? En, en la LCS, ¿no? En todo esto y cómo te estás viendo en los partidos y en estos enfrentamientos. Eh, Creo que se diferencia mucho el nivel de la LCS al nivel de la Challenger Series solo por la razón de que juega más para no morir que a matar. Y eso se nota mucho, yo creo. Que es muy difícil. Um, he told me that the, when he comes to the, to the LCS, he, to the LCS he, he felt that the, the mid laners plays to don't die instead of plays aggressive. For example, in the Challenger Series they play more aggressive, they play like maybe more solo queue style, but they play to don't die and he he appreciates it a lot. Okay, uh, congratulations. One final question you. for you guys. Uh, SK Fnatic is coming up. I'd like to hear your predictions as you played versus them. Who's going to take it, Rydal? Uh, I think SK is going to win. All right. SK mm. Fnatic? I think the Vans. Eh? The, the Vans. No, depende de los bans, ya, 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 pero es que depende de los bans. Uh, it, it, it depends of the, of the bans and picks, especially. All But right. I think SK, yeah. You think SK is going to take it? Well, as for now, you guys can uh, celebrate your own victory over Elements. Congratulations. Yeah. Fantastic. Coming up next, as said, is the season's first El Clasico as Fnatic looks to be the team to beat the undefeated SK Gaming. Before we go, we'll hear from one of the key players in this matchup who has made the biggest splash in the LCS this season by far. Qué bueno.